Hi, I'm Jim McCarthy, and this is the seventh video blog I'm doing for drumclinic.com. And the subject of today's discussion is twirling, twirling the drumstick. Okay? Uh, now, there are many differences of opinion about twirling the drumstick and about the different methods of twirling the drumstick. Essentially, we fall into two different categories. There's the, the sort of twirl that uh, actually the stick feeds through the fingers. I kind of do it kind of gradually like this, and, and the stick feeds through the fingers, and that's where the, the motion's coming from. Now, some people call this the real twirl. Uh, and there's another sort of, of twirl where you actually just kind of put one finger over the stick, and it's, it's kind of like so. You know, the stick doesn't really feed through the fingers, it just rotates around the, the edge of one finger like that. And some people refer to that as the fake twirl. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that is not really a fake twirl, uh, it's a proper twirl. The other sort of thing where we're feeding the stick like that through those fingers uh, is more properly referred to as a spin. You know, spinning, they're two very, very different actions. Now, to be honest, I've never really worked on practicing this, this spinning idea. I can kind of do a bit one and that's about it, okay? The reason I've never really worked on it is because it's pretty much useless in terms of incorporating it into your general playing, okay? As far as I'm concerned, any sort of uh, effect or visual thing uh, isn't very useful unless you can incorporate it directly into your playing. You do see guys incorporate it into their playing a little bit, but usually what happens is because they need to have the, the fingers really uh, feeding the, the stick through, they sort of play with one hand or have a break and the other hand sort of off doing the, the spin. But of course it's not really playing at the same time, or, and it's very, you know, there's a big, big time lag between spinning the stick and then getting it back into a useful playing position. With the twirl, okay, or what some people call the fake twirl, this is not the case. Because all you really need to do is put that finger over the stick, and in fact, even though that's, uh, that's not a great grip for the stick, it's, it's actually not bad. You can still use your fingers in the same way, and you can still, I'll use that grip in both hands, you've still got enough control over the stick uh, to actually play pretty well. And, uh, and that's the same grip that you hold the stick in, it's a very strong grip to twirl the stick. You can do that twirl backwards and forwards. So backwards, forwards, keep it going, e whoop, dropped it, either way. Okay, so that's what we call uh, the twirl, some people call it the fake twirl. Let's have a look at some, uh, some uses of it and also some detail about how to do it. So look at the grip there, I've just basically got the stick shoved between those two fingers, just like a normal matched grip there, but I've lifted that index finger over the top of the stick and I'm now holding the stick there. So I can still use those fingers underneath the same way we, we normally would, only I can't use my index finger because that's on the other side of the stick where the thumb was. Okay. Now to twirl the stick, all I do is I let the tip of the stick come back, I flick my wrist back like so, the tip of the stick kind of drops down at the outside of the elbow there, and I want it to describe a big circle, so I'm sort of turning my wrist back like that. The stick's now tipped down. I use this finger here to pull the butt of the stick back, so the stick comes, tip of the stick comes up, and then when I get to that position, I turn my wrist back round. So in slow motion, I really kind of am moving my wrist a fair bit as well. Okay, so this is the backwards version of the twirl. As you speed that up, the momentum of the stick tip carries it around, and all you really need to do is get the tip of that finger pulling on that stick to keep it going. You can kind of see the tip of that finger there just moving it, that's it, on the, on the stick to keep it going and keep it in. You can do that forwards as well, but the tip of the stick, uh, the tip of the finger can't really provide that strength. So it's a little bit trickier to go fast forwards. Some people prefer forwards, uh, I've never understood that. Hopefully you should be able to do the same thing in both hands, forwards and backwards. The great thing about this twirl is you can incorporate it into your playing. Here I am just playing some single strokes and you see I'm doing a single backwards twirl in between each single stroke. Very easy to do because as the tip of the stick rebounds off the drum it's already moving backwards so I can in slow motion here as it bounces up it just does a twirl and you're ready for the next note. You can also twirl forwards and the end of the twirl comes down onto the drum so you can twirl off the drum and forwards onto the drum. Twirl backwards off the drum, forwards on, and keep that forwards and backwards motion going. I think it's easiest just to twirl once backwards in your, when you're incorporating into your playing, and basically you can see here I am, one backwards twirl in between each stroke. Or using double strokes. Obviously you're limited about how fast you can go because you need to get one twirl in, 
if you're playing triple strokes or four strokes, you might be able to get two twirls in between each one. Or playing paradiddles, for example. So because you've got plenty of time with the paradiddle, you've got a double stroke there, you might even be able to get two twirls in. Or if you're going a bit faster, just one twirl like so. And the twirl sort of works well into the accent as well. So twirling is a really useful uh, thing, this what some people call the fake twirl, because you can incorporate it into your playing very well. It looks fantastic and it's really easy to do. Uh, fantastic technique, okay, the twirl. There's another thing that sometimes people call the twirl over. You're basically using the same thing where you're twirling, but you kind of go to the traditional grip, okay? And traditional grips just start with that way. Uh, there's a great deal of detail about that in the Stick Technique book. If you want to check out sticktechnique.com and learn a little bit more about the twirl over. But basically, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm doing it with the match grip here now because I mostly play with match grip these days. And you see I'm twirling and the stick is playing the drum with the other end of the, uh, with the, with the tip of the stick, but in the opposite grip. If you're a traditional gripper, you start that way and kind of it's the same idea, but just starting in the other grip. And as usual, if you want to check out more of our free video blogs, learn more about drumming technique, or just look at all sorts of information on drumming, just check out drumclinic.com. That's drum-clinic.com.